Hello, Internetians! My name is Josh, aka Ultra Player. Welcome to HorribleWebcamQuality.deck. Is it lagging? It's finally not lagging after I dropped the resolution horribly low. So my computer's not wanting to run with my uh, high-grade webcam, my uh, high-quality webcam. So I'm having to use low-quality, so that's why that's there, and I didn't feel like changing the background. I'm just excited to watch this, uh, or do this uh, battle. So... Oh, we up there. We are here for IBL week number two and season number four, and we are going against a good, uh, good old buddy of mine, my turkey sub coach of the Chicago Cup Chews. Check him out. Link in the description. Now he has a team. He definitely has a team. If I can pull it up, maybe. Does that? Oh, good. It doesn't show. Oh, look, I'm lagging. <laughs> Why? Alright, hopefully it's not bad. His team consists of Megalopony. Megalopony, of course, is a really big threat. Uh, and resistance stabs, etc. Manaphy, which is his Z-Mon. z, z Dance, super threat to my entire team, and I can't really beat it. <laughs> so I have to be careful of that. Uh, Rotom Wash, really good pivot. Very annoying for my team, just because it beats everything that's not like Mega Venusaur. Uh, he has Sylveon. Uh, decent switch into Hoopa, although it's not the greatest. So I can hopefully uh, beat that down. Uh, Scizor and Metagross, both steel types, both bullet punch, both keep Nihilego at bay, and both can switch in de decently well, so that sucks. And then, uh, Amoongus. Amoongus is there. Uh, good grass type. Has nice synergy with some of his other mons and can, uh, get the regenerator back, which is nice. He has the Braviary as his last mon, and of course that's a huge threat because I don't have good flying switch-ins. So... If you do not know our team, our team consists of Z, Hoopa, Mega Venusaur, Dawn Fan, Nihilego, Klefki, Ampom, Araquanid, Primeape, Shellgon, and Charizard. Now, hopefully the lag goes away. I'm not re-recording this. Damn, why is my computer like this? Oh my god, okay. So anyway. Let's, uh, let's talk about our team. So, a couple things I noticed. Uh, the fact that he has a, such a small team is really nice because it lets me build better. It lets me uh, not have to prepare for as many threats as I normally do. Unfortunately, his threats are very uh, threatening, so there's that. Uh, but as I was building, as I started to build, I noticed a couple things. I noticed that Manaphy is probably the biggest threat to my entire team. Lopini is a big threat, but not the biggest. Uh, his steel types keep some of my offensive mods at bay. And then his core not the hardest to break, but it's kind of annoying. So, one mon I knew that I wanted, no matter what, no matter what, that I wanted on this team is going to be our number one mon for this team is going to be Charizard. So, Charizard, Charizard, crowd fave, crowd favorite, Charizard, leftovers, blaze ability, 252 HP, 196 defense, 36 special attack, and 20 speed, with a modest nature. So, Toxic Flame through a Roost and Roar. Uh, this kind of just, like, beats his entire team. <laughs> it beats, like, six out of eight of his team. <coughs> well, kind of. It really pressures a lot of his team. His water types are really the only thing that can stop this easily. I am definitely lagging. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, do you see that? See that lag? Huh. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. We'll have to go with it. Maybe if I... Oh, my God. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, this is really nice. As it switches in, Metagross, switches in on Metagross really well. Unless he has Rock Slide, which I don't think he'll bring. Maybe Thunder Punch. Maybe. But uh, we'll see. This switches on Scizor amazingly. Uh, I can switch in on Moongus rather well. I can switch in on Sylveon rather well. If it's not HP Rock. It's really nice. So, Toxic Roots, uh, toxic roots from Flamethrower are all I really needed. Toxic to Whittle Down as well. Flamethrower with the Special Attack Investment. Two KOs and Assault Vest Metagross. And Oko to Scizor. So that's nice. And then finally for the last move, I thought about a lot of things, but I ended up putting Roar. And my idea behind that was, it keeps Manaphy from setting up. Because this basically just says, Z Rain Dance Manaphy come set up on me. So I have Roar there to Roar it out and not let it set up. So that's really cool. Uh, next mod we're bringing is going to be our Araquanid. Bubbles coming back after, uh, I would say, successful week one with 252 HP, 188 in attack, and 68 in defense with the Splash Plate, Adamant Nature, Liquidation, Toxic, Sticky Web, and Power Split. So, 
<laughs> this is really funny. Okay, first of all, I think I'm turning off the webcam. I can't deal with that. So y'all can just look at the silver. Uh, I think I'm going to turn the silver off too. Okay. Now I feel better. Uh, so, Araquanid. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention the question of the day. Hey, go answer the comment question of the day. And uh, leave hashtag 15 gon' give it to you with it. Because 15 gon' give it to you. <laughs> Rate me number 15 on the power rankings with Hooper Webs. Wow. Uh, what do you think is the best mega in the league format? I have Mega Venusaur and he has Mega Lopini. We both have really good megas. Two of the megas that I would consider to be top 10. So let me know what do you think the best mega in the format is. And don't say Mega Latias like me. Uh, <laughs> say something other than Mega Latias. Anyway. Uh, so this <laughs> Araquanid. Something I learned while doing some calcs and stuff is that in rain, Splash Blade Araquanid with 188 attack investment and adamant nature, two shots and offensive Manaphy with liquidation. I literally 2 a KO a Manaphy with a water move. It is lit. Toxic is there because it helps whittle down uh, Manaphy if it's not rain dance as well as road and wash. It's really cool. Sticky Web, of course, is there because Sticky Web. Uh, slowing down his team, like Megalopony, is really nice for stuff like my Hoopa and um, some other mods you'll see later. So that's really cool. Uh, and then Power Split. <coughs> so Z-Rant hits Manaphy. Uh, doesn't kill me, by the way. Uh, plus three. I don't even think plus three in Power Electric kills me. By the way, after I had that attack investment, I just threw the rest into HP and then... I just maximized HP and then threw the rest into Spidef. Power Split. Okay, so plus three Psychic, which is the only move I can see him bringing his coverage, does not kill me. And that's cool. But it still just destroys my entire team. So I was hoping on finding a way to weaken that. And Power Split does just that. For any reason, if I also Power Split as he goes into something like Metagross, I then have a sky high attack stat and I just two shot everything. But also, uh, I have zero special attack uh, IVs. And that means I can lower his special attack as much as possible because of how Power Split works. And then it basically lines the calcs up to where he's like at plus two instead of plus three after the terror blow. And I can take that on a little bit better. So I wanted that as the last move so I could take things on a little bit better. But yeah, this is a nice just pivot into something like Manaphy, into something like uh, Scizor and stuff and be able to uh, put up webs and pressure stuff with liquidation. Uh, next mod we are going to be bringing is going to be, I believe, uh, Mega Venusaur. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, Mega Venusaur, Jumanji is back. Uh, 172 HP, 140 speed, 192 speed with a calm nature. Hidden power, fire, Giga Train, Sludge Bomb, and Synthesis. Oh, wow. I can't believe I actually ran this. Okay. So, 192 speed allows me to outspeed... No idea. <laughs> oh, where was I outspeeding? I think I'm outspeeding a max speed adamant megalopony after Sticky Web, which is really cool. So I have Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Hidden Power Fire as coverage moves. Not really any question there. Looking, uh, thinking about his uh, 18 members. Giga Drain hits his water type, Sludge Bomb hits his, uh, and Moon Kiss as well as his, uh, Braviary and his, uh, Sylveon. <coughs> and then, of course, Megalopony, and then Hidden Power Fire first steals. And then I have Synthesis just to stay healthy. So the HP in Spadef, invested in a weird way, allows me to take plus three Psychic from Manaphy from full. Which is cool, and I can weaken that. Which is also cool. Because man, if he's a threat to my entire team, and can easily just 6 me. So this also uh, helps me handle Megalopony a little bit. I mean, Megalopony doesn't do too too much to me with return. It might too carry me after rocks, I believe. But I can still weaken that, should I need to. And now speeding it after webs is really nice. Uh, so yeah, this uh kind of just beats his, This kind of helps me wall his entire team. There's very little mods that he has on his team that can actually, like, pressure me. Other than, like, maybe Manaphy if it's set up, and Braviary, Encore Megalopony, etc. Like, I think I'm fine. I like the set. It helps me handle a lot of his stuff. But, uh, Megalopony, since I'm using this more as a uh, Manaphy 
check-ish kind of thing. I kind of need something that can handle Megalopony to an extent. So, next model we're going to be bringing is going to be our Don Fan. Uh, Rocky Helmet Don Fan, fully physically defensive. Uh, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Knockoff, another standard set. Uh, I ran the same thing last week, I think, except I had a little bit of spadef. But uh, this is really nice because it switches on Megalopony, gets chip damage off with Rocky Helmet. Etc. Etc. Uh, also switches in on stuff like Metagross and says, "Where should I really need it to?" Can uh, take one hit from Sylveon, I believe, maybe. And also helps me with Braviary because normal spam is not fun. Getting the champ uh, chip damage off on that that I need, so I can potentially win. Uh, this is, puts up rocks, keeps rocks away from my side because I'm gonna want rocks away from my side because I have a Raquinade and a Charizard. And it's overall, it's really nice helping wear stuff down. Rocks are really nice for that purpose. And you're going to see how good, uh, why I want to chip stuff down because of the next two mons you're going to see. Not really a lot to say about this. Knockoff is just there for support, getting rid of items, helping me hit Rotom Wash, getting rid of those leftovers, scouting what mana fees items going to be, etc., etc. So, Dawn Fan running a pretty standard set, I would say. So, next mon we're going to be bringing is going to be Hoopa Unbound. Reaper is here. Choice Banded. Oh, I forgot to type an item on that. Whoops. So, Choice Banded. Uh, max Attack, Max Speed, Speed Tides with the Braviary, Zen Headbutt, Hyperspace, Fury, Fire Punch, and Gunshot. So, he does not switch into this at all. Oh, my God, he does not switch into this. The only closest thing that he has to a switch into this is going to be that Sylveon. And uh, Sylveon gets two shot by Bandit Zen Headbutt and Oko by Bandit Gunshot, so that's really nice. All I really needed was Stab. To be honest, the last two moves are just there because they exist. Fire Punch is nice to pick off uh, Steel types. I really think that's coming in. And I really want to get rid of it. And then Gunshot just for Sylveon because it Oko's. But yeah, this destroys him. And uh, gonna be doing what I normally do, or what I did last week, is that, and that is using this to break open his team. So that I can have a sweeper come in and finish stuff off. And that sweeper this time is going to be Primate. Primate making his debut. Buzzball, Choice Scarf, Adamant, Defiant, 252 Attack, 12 Defense, 244 Speed, Close Combat, Ice Punch, U-Turn, and Gunk Shot. Uh, again, pretty standard there. Uh, Ice Punch hits the Moongus as well as the Braviary. Close Combat because he has two switch-ins to Close Combat being Moongus and Sylveon. And then I have Gunk Shot for the Sylveon and U-Turn just for momentum. It's a choice card for, of course, if you want U-Turn. This outspeeds uh, Adamant, uh, Max Speed Jolly Braviary, which is really cool. And can easily just plow through a team late game should I uh, weaken everything. To so what it's here for. Uh, pick off a whole bunch of things and potentially do damage. If I, for some reason, get a Defog boost, that'll be even better because then I can just plow through it even better. I also take a Bullet Punch, which is really nice. Like, I can take Bullet Punches a little well just due to the fact that it it's not weak to it and has some physical bulk on like <laughs> Hoopa and uh, Nia Lego. So with that out of the way, let's get into the battle, shall we? We are back in business. All right, it's 24 hours later or so. Why is my why am I so blue? Do we have the light working right? Or we just, we just, uh, maybe just make some more light. Hopefully, I'm not lagging too bad. All right, we in this. So we're here. And he brought those mons, and you didn't see the fail beginning video of this, maybe. You probably saw the team builder, and that was an epic fail. Anyway, as you can see, the six mons he decided to bring, not Moongus, not Braviary. He brings them six, Nihilaga would have done jack shit this match, and would have gotten his ass handed to him by double bullet punch. So, immediately, I noticed that Charizard walls three of his mons, which is lit, and that without a Moongus... Primate's going to have some fun. All I need to do is weaken Sylveon, which is very, very easy because I have Hoopa. Everything else should be weakened just naturally. So that's really good. So I'm really going for a Primate Suite. And let's just get into this, shall we? Hopefully this doesn't fuck up entirely. Alright, and we have music. Yeah! I got cool music too. Alright, so Cameron issues the battle. Shout out to my Turk. Shout out to Turk. Uh, he's going to leave Lopany. I believe I'm gonna leave the Mega Venusaur because I think it had the, the best matchup. I led Mega Venusaur. It is lit. 
So anyway, uh, I'm going to stay in, obviously, because uh, I can get some damage off on this thing. He can't really kill me with uh, two returns. Well, he can, maybe, if he's adamant he gets the roll. But still, I believe he's going to go for fake out. So I'm going to use this opportunity to get my Mega Evolution off. <laughs> so I'm going to use this opportunity to get my Mega Evolution off. We are going to see the fake out here, which is perfectly fine. And he's, I'm going to flinch, and I'm going to get a lot of damage off, which tells me he is probably adamant. And here, I believe I'm just going to fire off whatever attack. Do I fire off a Giga Drain? I feel like I fire off a Giga Drain here. I double. I'm lit. Into Michelin. That's right. I wanted to get the Rocky on the damage <laughs> on him because uh, it was very important. But I also, uh, this also handles any East, which he could have made. So if you can go to Rotom here, I believe I'm going to put up my Rocks. Rocks are very nice for chipping down the team. I'm going to knock off. Do it to the Rotom's left over, which is really nice. <laughs> and then, of course, I'm going to switch out into my Mega Venusaur. Into my Mega Venusaur. As I believe he's going to Will-O-Wisp me. Yep. That's fine. <coughs> I'm very fast, and I don't expect him to know that I'm very fast. So I'm just going to go hard for the Giga Drain. Because I feel like I'll be able to catch him off guard with my speed. However, he hard switches. <laughs> Thinking smart. And he goes into Metagross. And I'm going to get a Giga Drain off here. It's going to tell me some things. Uh, that is most likely not a Salt Vest, because that did a fuck ton. Uh, I'm not really sure what he is, but it also might tell me that he's rocks. So I was keeping that in the back of my head. Here, I believe I got to Charizard. I'm meant to come in on this thing. Crowd Fade, that's going to be my Charizard. And I know that uh, after this Meteor Mash, I'm going to find out that he's pretty offensive. I did a lot. It's pretty offensive. I'm going to get the leftovers back. It's a nice residual recovery. And here I believe I'm going to fire off Toxic, predicting him to go into Sylveon or the Rotom. And he's going to go into said Rotom, and I'm going to fire off that nice Toxic, start whittling this Rotom down. That's really nice. This is one of the mods that really time that can take a hit from my Primate. <laughs> That's really good. Already setting up for victory. And I'm going to get my leftovers recovery. This is really nice. I'm going to be able to come in on um, some things later. However, here, <coughs> I believe I'm going to go... I don't think I go into Dawn Fan, predicting Volt Switch. Yeah, I was going to make a sure being the safe play. I was like, I think I considered that, but I'm not sure. I feel like I considered Dawn Fan to stop the Volt Switch and then go into Mega Venusaur on the pump or the burn. But he's going to Volt Switch. He's going to go out to Lopini, which is perfectly fine. I believe I'm going to go out to my Dawn Fan here and get up my rocks finally. Because it seems like he's doing a lot of switching. It seems like he has a lot of Volt Turn. Gonna want to stop that. Put it in my rocks. You know. The works. So here I'm gonna go to my Dawn fan. He's gonna go for fake out. He's gonna get some hit damage, which is whatever. He's gonna take the Rocky Helmet, which is really nice for me. Uh, I like uh, him taking Rocky Helmet. And here I'm going to put up my rocks. Put up my rocks. Nice. Unfortunately, go that scissor, which I'm like, great. <laughs> However, I do take this thing on decently well. And I can just fire off a whatever attack. He's going to go for knockoff, get rid of the Rocky Helmet, making it uh, an easier for his Lopini to come in. I'm going to fire off an Earthquake. Get off some damage, see what I can find out about this. Based on the damage that this Earthquake does, based off the knockoff that he's doing to me, this is going to tell me that this is going to be a Choice Scarf Scissor. Definitely a Choice Scarf Scissor, in my opinion. It's there for Hoopa. He's going to go to Rotom here. I believe I go for a knockoff. Yep. Which is really nice. And here I probably go into my Mega Venusaur. I'm starting to see that Mega Venusaur isn't going to be as useful as I intended. Uh, oh no, I go into Reaper. Legend. Predicting him to go for, uh, not. I predicted him to go for Hydro Pump, which I could take, and then just get a kill. But he's going to go into Scizor. And that screams Choice Scarf to me, because I know he's not banded. But he's at like 1 HP, so that's really cool. So anyway, I'm going to switch out my Reaper. Once again, came in on what I thought was a good idea, and it turned out to not do anything. So he's going to go for U-turn on my uh, Charizard. Definitely Choice Garfed. Definitely Choice Garfed, in my opinion. And he is going to go out into his Manaphy. And I said this in Team Builder. I have Roar on this, specifically for this Manaphy. I will not let this Manaphy set up on me. I know it's going to suck because I'm going to lose my Charizard if he attacks me. But I have to Roar this thing out. He's going to go for just the straight hard surf, which sucks, but, I mean, it's there. 
And then I'm going to go, uh, lose my Charizard. That sucks. Definitely my cores are starting to weaken, and I'm not really in a good position. However, this does give me my webs. His Z-Fogger is dead. And I'm starting to be in a good position. You go, well, one of his Z-Foggers is dead. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Scizor's dead, which I predicted to be more of his more likely Z-Fogger. I'm gonna go for Sticky Web. And that is going to be very, very good for me. This now ensures that my Mega Venusaur outspeeds his entire team. My Hoopa outspeeds his entire team. Generally, I'm just going to be a faster uh, team than he is. So here, I'm going to go out to my Mega Venusaur once again. I'm just a very good sponge for this Rotom. He's going to go for Volt Switch. And here, I believe he's going to go out to his Mega Volt. Uh, yeah, it goes to Lopini. However, I plan for this. I am faster under Sticky Web than a max speed Adamant and Lopini, which I'm pretty sure he is based on the damage earlier. The Sticky Web's gonna hit him. I believe he just hard returns here. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain. I'm gonna get off a crap ton of damage on this Lopini. And I'm going to put myself out of range of this frustration. Even if he was max attack, if his happiness was right, which it wasn't, he was still taking not been able to knock me out. Here, he's gonna guard Scissor, sack, sack it off, and I'm like, alright, this is good. I'm in a really good position right now. I'm in a really good position right now. So, I'm weakened, obviously. He's gonna go at the Lopini. I believe here, he's gonna quick click, uh, fake out. All right? Yeah, he's gonna click fake out, and then afterwards, quick attack. No, I just died of the burn. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I know what happened, guys. I know I know how the battle ends up. I know who wins. I just don't know anything else that happened. I do know that my boy comes out, and my boy starts picking up kills. Scizor died to the rocks. Now he's gonna go out to Rotom. I'm gonna click Bandit Zen Headbutt. <laughs> and this Rotom's gonna hit the floor. It's a 3 HP, so of course it's gonna hit the floor. But it hit the floor. Who we got a kill? Hoopa here! Hoopa's now! Hoopa's ready! He goes to Sylveon. And... So I know my Calc. I already know this Calc. I calc it a million times. To fully physically defensive to Sylveon, my band is then headbutt's gonna do 55 to 65. To me, that's a really good trade. I will gladly take let my Hoopa die in order to get off that much damage on this Sylveon, which is basically the only thing stopping my Primeape at this point. Because I can get off a huge amount of damage on this. I'm faster than it if it's a defensive under, uh, under Sticky Web with my Raccoonin. Liquidation to fill it, finish it off, and then he's in a really bad position because all I need to do is weaken Manaphy a little bit and Primate clicks close combat like four times and wins. I am gladly going to Zen Headbutt this thing for this damage. Gladly. Oh, gladly take this damage. <laughs> and. <laughs> he's offensive. He's an offensive Sylveon. My video is going to glitch out a hundred times, but that's okay. And that thing just hit the ground. And gone. And Sylveon just died. I lost my mind. That's why I wish I could do live recordings. What the hell? Shout out to the video. Alright, anyway. Uh, don't want to take damage. I'm going to switch out to my Dawn fan here. Finish uh, old boy off here. Or, uh, yeah, old boy. The male opening. Gonna take the high jump kick, I believe. Even if I didn't take it, I have a primate. But right here, I'm gonna be able to earthquake this Lopini, and I'm going to be able to eliminate it. Goodbye, Lopini. He now has his Manaphy. He now has his Metagross remaining. Which is fine. He can go out to Metagross if he wants to. I will always earthquake. It is always my best play. If he went to Manaphy, I would always earthquake. Always my best play. He's gonna bullet punch. I believe that kills me. <laughs> but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Because <laughs> guess who comes out? He's here. He's ready. <laughs> Hoopa. Hoopa. Hoopa's going to get bullet punched in the face. It sucks. But Hoopa's here. And Hoopa clicks this hyperspace fury. Goodbye to your soul. Crit did not matter. I am a banded choice, banded Hoopa Unbound. And finally, his Manaphy is his last one. His Manaphy, which is a huge threat to me, still stands. 
ready to fight against me. However, it is not going to matter whatsoever because this bandit Hoopa is going to inflict hyperspace fury and this Manaphy is going to hit the ground. Goodbye. And that is going to be GG. Turk, Cameron, and Chicago Cup Chews. We walk out with a 3 0 win. 15 gonna give it to you. 15 gonna give it to you. Yeah! 2 0. <laughs> so we come off a beautiful win. 2 0 against uh, the analysts. We are against the analysts. Fight me, analysts. Come at me. Stop doubting me. I'm here. I'm ready. Let's go. What's up? What's up? What's up? 15 going to give it to you. Hoopa and Bound picks up four kills. Don Finn picks up two. And next week, we go against another DBL friend of mine. We're going against Caleb and the Kansas City Nita Kings. His team's lit. But I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Uh, don't forget to enter the comment question today. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to send Kelly's news my way. I need them, please. Think of the children, guys. But overall, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!